biotechnicians welcome to another video we all know that getting an internship positions in indian institute of science and working under a professor is always a greatest thing suppose if you are someone who might be in your undergraduate or masters or you might be in your phd if you are looking for an internship program at indian institute of science then i'll be talking in this video what are the categories that you can go and apply to indian institute of science for mainly for the internship so come along with me and let's talk about the complete topic in detail this is caroline green from biotechnica so now let's talk about the first thing which is categories so you can also become a project intern i'll be talking about how you can become a project intern in indian institute of science you can also become an undergraduate intern very specifically bsc after or during your bsc i'll be talking when you can apply for this one or you can become a masters intern during your first year or your second year whether will you be able to go and work in indian institute of science as an intern is it possible i'll be talking about it so first we already know about project intern is mainly based on the project project will be announced in the indian institute of science website so you will go and work over there and you'll be getting a stipend for that so who can apply for this uh, internship position in indian institute of science suppose if you are undergraduate student if you are be in life sciences any of the engineering field btech in uh, genetic engineering or biotechnology or bsc if you are in second year like if you are biochemistry student microbiology student or biotechnology student if you are in a second year then you can apply for indian institute of science internship program or suppose if you are in the final year of mtech or very specially in mtech in biotechnology or biomedical sciences or msc in biotechnology or microbiology or any of the life sciences if you are in the final year then definitely you can apply for this internship opportunity at indian institute of science suppose if you are a phd candidate then you are also eligible to apply for this internship position at indian institute of science the most important criteria for all these people is if you are going to have 80 percentage of your marks if you are in the second year of bsc you need to have in the first year 80 percentage of your mark in the previous semester 10th 12th as well as in your uh, undergraduate very specifically and if your masters you need to have 80 percentage marks from your 10th uh, till the semester that you're studying and of course 80 percent in your phd then if you have all this criteria then definitely you can go and start applying for indian institute of science internship program the next comes what are the three tracks that you can apply for it so i'm going to talk about three categories very specifically and i'm going to talk about three ways that you can apply for internship program the first is through national science academy so through this national science academy or indian academy of sciences we can say ias you can apply through this internship program also the second you directly apply through the IASC career a portal you would directly go over there whatever is posted projects or something else you can directly apply for that the third criteria is emailing to the professor whom you really wanted to work under suppose if you are someone who would like to work under stem cell look for a professor who works in stem cell research and you are going to mail it to the professor and you are going to avail the internship opportunity through the professor by these three ways you can literally get an internship opportunity at indian institute of science bangalore the next comes suppose if i'm going to talk about the first criteria through national science academy how can you apply so the first criteria first track i'm going to talk about is this criteria so how you can apply for this one so make a note of this if you are looking for this one it is going to be a two month summer research fellowship program so you can literally see here srfp program it is for only two months you will be having this one so this is through national science academy i'll be telling you how you can go and apply for this one so what you have to do is application forms will be available in three sites so first is ias as i already mentioned indian academy of science you can go to that website and you can download the form or you can go to indian national science academy and you can download the form or you can download it from national academy of sciences so any of these website you're going to go and you're going to download the application form for internship opportunity 
and what you have to do is upload the application form and whatever information is given you just have to type in your information and cover letter you have to keep why you really wanted to apply for this internship program so your application along with a cover letter why you wanted to apply for this internship program you can apply and what are the benefits that you're going to get as an intern intern in iac bangalore so accommodation will be provided in iac campus itself in the guest room and round trip train fares will be given train fares will also be given and you can get a stipend from 5000 to 12000 suppose if you are a bachelor's second year student you would like to go for internship you can apply through this one or if you wanted to go for masters and in internship if you are in the second year then you can definitely go and apply for this internship but you can apply through these sources only ias um, indian national science academy and national academy of sciences so this is based i'll be talking about how they used to screen the application also a bit later the second track i'm going to talk about is applying online through the iac careers so if you go to indian institute of science you'll be seeing uh, official site of indian institute of science you will see uh, the career site where lot of internship opportunities will be coming over so this is the division of biological sciences suppose if you are someone who are looking for internship in any of these divisions the division of biological sciences you will have these many things so it starts from biochemistry ecology infectious disease neuroscience cell biology biophysics unit molecular reproduction development and genetics so what you have to do is go to the website career site or you can look on to the division of biological sciences under these departments you can look for some internship availability opportunity which will be posted by any one of the laboratories so accordingly you can mail they would be giving you a suggestion like you can mail your cv or how the process actually takes place and you can apply through the iasc careers itself you can go to this and you can check in for this the third important track or the third important way how you can apply is emailing to the professor at indian institute of science suppose if you are someone who wanted to carry out a neuroscience project but you are not finding an internship opportunity at in indian institute of science you've missed ias or if you have missed uh, applying online through careers what you can do is you can email the professor whom you really wanted to work under so how you can do that process so i'm going to make it a bit simple for all of you so email iasc professor for an internship directly just take the email id and you're going to email to the professor how you can email that's the most important thing you just just not put only your resume and you you should not send that you need to include your a research proposal so write a research proposal about the research that is related to the research that the professor is professor is doing suppose the professor is doing a stem cell research write a research proposal that correlates with their research along with that please write a statement of purpose very very nicely which means why you are applying to the professor you can mention like you've been following the projects that's been going on for so many days and you really wanted to learn from the laboratory you can mention it in the sop and definitely one letter of recommendation from the hod or wherever you're going to work over there just get it and attach along with the email address so your research proposal if you have your resume you can include it along with that sop and one recommendation letter when you're emailing to the professor just mail it so if the professor finds it's very very nice then you can be hired as an intern in indian institute of science so there are main three ways that you can go as an intern the first is through national science academy and the second is applying online in iac careers whichever posting comes like projects comes directly you can go and apply or directly emailing to the professor of your interest and the next important opportunity that indian institute of science provides is for sc and st students separately so opportunity for sc and st students to intern at indian institute of science so who can apply for this so not only indian institute of science indian academy of science and indian institute of science have launched this program very specifically for sc and st students so if you are in your msc final year or be or btech in a second year then you can apply for this very specifically this will be usually coming in the month of june or july month so they will be giving you a round train fares also and you can live over there accommodation will be provided and they are going to give you 5000 uh, stipend ship also for you to stay at indian institute of science this is exclusively for sc st candidates to become an intern at indian institute of science 
Next, I was talking about project intern. How to become a project intern? So I'm going to tell you how to do that. So you can become a project intern by looking around the project. So usually if you observe Biotechnica website, I personally suggest that you can find some internship opportunity coming from Indian Institute of Science for uh, some three months or four months. You'll be updated. So directly go over there. Official link will be given. It will be redirected to that page and you can start applying. So the duration is going to be three to six months. Usually some projects will be announced. You can work over there as a project intern only not project assistant or research assistant and they're going to give you a fellowship of 10,000 to 12,000 for every month and you need to have masters in any of the life sciences this usually comes when the project is available then you can become a project intern so this is one of the opportunity to become an intern in Indian Institute of Science the next come how they are going to uh, recruit these many candidates because when we talk in case of IAS through applying through IAS or when we apply through uh, emailing a professor or when you're going to apply through the career side or when you're going to apply for a project there are so many people who will be applying for this internship positions very specially to Indian Institute of Science because it's reputed how the how they used to recruit candidates the main thing is it's about bachelors and masters they're going to screen based on the cgpa if you're going to have nine plus or eight plus cgpa then definitely you'll be hired and which college do you come from that is also one of the criteria and how strong is your recommendation of letter given by the professor or from your hod and the statement of purpose why you really wanted to apply for this internship so based on this they'll come to a conclusion whether to hire a candidate as an intern or not this is about the screening process next one for all of them who are looking for an internship position at Indian Institute of Science I'm going to tell you some of the tips so this you have to make it a point first one make your SOP stand out of the crowd very nice SOP why you are applying for this internship through this internship what you're going to get benefited what you're going to achieve through this one you have to mention and give some background information on the current field of study what you are actually doing any sort of research work that you're doing or what's your plan in the future why you are coming for this research work everything you include and if you have any sort of uh, relevant experience in suppose if you're applying for stem cell just correlate you had some sort of experience before and always include your recommendation letter so these are some of the tips that you have to take into consideration when you're applying for an internship position at Indian Institute of Science so today we've been talking about uh, how you can get an internship opportunity at Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. So there are many different ways that you can go in for. So if you are someone who are looking for an internship opportunity, then this video is definitely going to help you. So I believe that this video is helpful for you. What are the problems that you face when you're looking for an internship opportunity? Put it in the comment section. Thank you all of you for your time.